If a Roman general had a truly exceptional military success, the Senate might award him a triumph, the highest honor a Roman could receive. Everybody in Rome would turn out to celebrate as the victorious army marched through the streets, and the festival that followed could last for days. The military victory was often immortalized by the construction of a triumphal arch, which was decorated with stone sculptures depicting scenes from the victory, a practice that was adopted by various countries down through the centuries. The awarding of a triumph was a rare event, and the honored general, the triumphator, was catapulted to the highest level of esteem in the eyes of the Roman people, who would then start to think of him almost as a god. In the Senate, the triumphators held the highest level of seniority, higher even than that of ex-consuls, the highest elected office in the government. Starting the play with Caesar's triumphal procession means that Caesar is at the height of his popularity.